What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So I wanna dedicate this video to Hunter Labrada and his coach, Ben Chow. Although I did not have Hunter in my top 5 Olympia predictions. But whenever I mention Hunter, that he has put on so much size in the last one year. And all that density that he's showcasing this time. He is gonna be a big threat to this year's Olympia top 5. If he nails it on the day of the show. And I always got so much backlash from all the audience. I kept on saying it is just a matter of Hunter and his coach. Ben Chow nailing that peak. And this was the best version of Hunter Lebrada period. And that too by quite some margin. And all that talk. That Hunter should stop working with his friend Ben Chow. Well for those guys there is your reply. The size on Hunter is just so damn insane. That during that first call out. He stood next to Hadi Chopin. Now Hadi is definitely more pleasing to look at. But I think Hunter held his own pretty damn well. In almost every single shot. That too against Hadi Chopin. Except the abs and typos. And that is given. Because of that problem that he has with his midsection. So the way the prejudging ended. Hunter Labrada or Martin Fitzwater. They are gonna be either in 4th or 5th. And we still have the finals to find out. Who comes out on top. So who would have predicted. That Hunter is gonna show up at his all time best. That right now the way things are looking. He is clearly beating Andrew Jack. I guess with all the trash talk. That has been directed towards Hunter. Throughout this year. He 100% deserves all the credit. For his performance tonight. And also his coach. Because the thing is if Hunter goes on and places top 4 in the world tomorrow. This will be the biggest shocker in bodybuilding. Because nobody would have predicted. Especially after Hunter's win. In Italy a month back. So another thing I do want to point out. In that comparison of him and Hadi Chopin. Is how great his back double biceps was looking. Standing next to Hadi Chopin. Honestly I have to say he was beating Hadi in that pose. I mean top to bottom Hunter had more detail. The conditioning in the lower half. That looked absolutely nuts. So it is very hard to find the fans of Hunter's physique. Yes we get it. That he has a visible chest here. His abs aren't good enough. But you have got to admit. That him and Ben Chow absolutely nailed this one. So from being placed outside of the top 7. In almost every Olympia predictions. To placing 4th this year. The same placing that he got. Back in 2021. That I have to say is gonna be true redemption. And on top of that what really matters. Is that he is altogether a different and a much more improved and a much more bigger bodybuilder now. So can you guys believe that Hunter was being called out. For having one of the worst backs in that Olympia top 10 just a few years back. And look at him today. Standing next to a former Miss Olympia. Hadi Chupan. And comparing so damn well against him. So a lot of the guys who were there in attendance. Like Ian Valier, Fuadu Bath. They all said that Hunter was looking absolutely nuts. And some people even said that it should have been in the final callout with the top 3 guys. And it should have been a 4 man callout. So let me know what you guys think about Hunter's performance this year at the prejudging. And please feel free to point out if I'm wrong in my analysis. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.